So, not far away from Chelsea against Manchester United in Premier League. And it's looking a rather tasty fixture at the moment. We've got Manchester United, who are desperately in need of some big performances. And Chelsea, who probably are overachieving because no one really gave them much of a chance this season and yet they're up there with Manchester City and Liverpool. So uh, this video is basically talking you through my Chelsea v Manchester United combined 11. Now I've done a few of these videos. I did one recently for uh, Liverpool and Manchester City. So let's press the X there. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, we've got a couple of players there already. Uh, my Chelsea and Manchester United 11. So, goalkeeper, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the two regular keepers for the two sides, David De Gea and Kepa, who's he's not really proven himself. Got to go with David De Gea. Best goalkeeper of the world. So, Manchester United have the edge in that respect. And I think for best defender at either of the clubs as well, who's largely underrated, although he's been given more um, attention recently within this past season, is Aspilicueta. He's very, he's very consistent, and for me, his place in this defence speaks for itself. Uh, whether he got on the left or the right, I'm not sure. Let's see who else we should put in here first. So on the left, it's really got to be, in fact, formation-wise, what should we go for? In fact, we, we, we can chop and change. Let's just keep it as it is. Uh, so it's either a Marcus Alonso or, say, Luke Shaw. And Marcus Alonso has been more consistent. He's been very good for Chelsea. And I would put him there. And another centre-back... I mean, it's difficult to pick any United ones, but who would you pick for Chelsea? Um, it's quite a poor position for both sides. You know, you used to have the likes of Terry, Ferdinand, Vidic, Carvalho. Very poor choice. And reluctantly, I'm going to go for Eric Bailly. Now, he's struggling to get the United team at the moment, but I think he's probably the most talented out of those left in the list. So I've got two Chelsea defenders, one Manchester United defender, and on the right, got Victor Moses. Um, Valencia's seen better days, but I would still give him the edge. And, you know, for two teams in the top six, that is not a brilliant defence. And to me, that's the best defence I could come up with. Valencia, Azpilicueta, Bailly and Alonso. And they've got De Gea in goal. So we've got it 3-2 to Manchester United so far. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. And I'm actually going to change the formation to a 4-2-3-1. Yeah, 4-2-3-1. And the reason I'm doing that is up front, it's either Giroud, Lukaku, or Morata. And I don't think Morata deserves a place. I don't think Giroud deserves a place. And it's got to be Lukaku up on his own. So that's why I've gone with just one striker. And for me, but for, for both these teams, the strongest area is in the midfield. So we've got five players to fill up here. Ross Barkley, I wouldn't say he's quite good enough. Um, to get in a combined 11 yes, uh, yet. Uh, drink water, I wouldn't say so. Not seen enough of Emerson. Fabregas, possibly. Fellaini's more a sub. Fred, we haven't seen enough of. Hazard, he will be making an appearance. In fact, Hazard can go here in the middle. Uh, back to the centre of the park. Herrera, Giorgino... You know, it's too early to put him in, I'd say. Uh, Kante's got to be there, hasn't he? Kante, Mr. Consistent. Uh, Matic. I'd have either Kante or Matic, maybe not both of them, and I'd pick Kante over Matic. And Paul Pogba. It's got to be Paul Pogba. 
Kante and Pogba. So we have got three, four, five Manchester United players and four Chelsea players, and we have got two positions to fill. So we've got David De Gea in goal, Valencia, Azpilicueta, Bay and Alonso in defence, Kante and Pogba in midfield, Lukaku up front, and in the attacking midfield positions, we've got Hazard and two others. So let's have a look at the possibilities here. I would say that mm, Lingard, probably not. Martial, maybe Mata. Moses, Pedro, Pereira, Rashford, Sanchez. You know, he's been so poor recently, I just can't put him in. Um, Willian. I think I'm going to go for... Either Rashford or Marshall. Let's go for Rashford for his pace. And let's go for Will Ian, who I think is a very good player. So, for an overall combined 11, it's not bad. But if you compare it to the Liverpool Manchester City 11, there's just no comparison whatsoever. And that's why I think these two teams will be quite a way behind uh, Liverpool and Manchester City this season. So, let's just recap. We've got De Gea in goal. Valencia, Espilicueta, by Alonso in defence. The only other ones who I'd consider bringing in is maybe Shaw for Alonso, uh, maybe Moses for Valencia, uh, maybe Smalling in defence, or someone like Rodrigo or Zappacosta. I've not seen enough of them. Kante and Pogba, I'm very happy with those two. Uh, Fabregas or Matic could get in as well, I guess. Uh, Willian Hazard and Rashford... Attacking midfield, you could have the likes of uh, Martial, Mata, Pedro in there even. And up front, Lukaku, Lukaku or Giroud or Morata. I'm happy with Lukaku. So we've gone for a 4-2-3-1 formation. Let me know in the comments section if you agree with this, what changes you would make. We've got six Manchester United players in there and we have got five Chelsea players. Let me know your thoughts below. I would be interested to hear and hopefully we will we'll get a good game on Saturday, but I have a feeling it will be a ball fest.